Okay, number one thing I'm sure is, guys, I am back with another YouTube video. This time, um, yeah, now, sadly, now, this time, Amazon is not buying WWE to, like, own the rights to, like, have, uh, their own property, the only, this time, it's Disney. So, and this was announced from... Um, Vince McMahon that he just sold WWE to Disney. So, honestly, now, I don't know if Disney is going to have, like, confirmed about this, because I'm not for sure, guys. So, anyway, like, I, yeah, we all know, like, Disney has, like, other things to do with several WWE, like, Marvel movies, Disney Pixar, Disney shows, and other Disney movies. That's not Disney Pixar or not a cartoon movie. But what's really confusing is like, like yeah, just because about what's been going, on, just because what happened like what two weeks ago, we got like almost nearly thirty releases, which was Zack Ryder, Heath Slater, Kurt Angle, Ada English, former United States Champion Rusev, Eric Rowan, Catch Us Oh No. Oh no! Wait, Catch Us All got released like last week. Um, that one chick from NXT, I can't remember her name. Was she's also got released too? Um, Finley got released. So did Billy Kim in, and nobody even knew why they got released because, but well, I well everybody knows why, but they just don't understand why Dray e let them go. Okay. But, anyway, like, yeah, I mean, Zack Ryder, he's been in the since 2007 with Kurt Hawkins. Nine years later, Kurt Hawkins returns. And then, after that, having Zack Ryder won the Tag Team Champions, then now, a year later, they get released. I mean, come on, did Kurt Hawkins not get released from WWE, like, what, just once? Just once? But that was like, what? Years ago, before his his comeback to WWE with a new gimmick. But anyway, guys, uh, what do you guys think about WWE only? I mean, Vince McMahon sold WWE to Disney. I mean, guys, like, comment, subscribe.